So the other day I flew to Pennsylvania for a show and everything went well until baggage claim. Then, disaster. The good news here is that the bag that has my clothes and all my camera gear arrived. Uh, the bad news is that the bag that holds everything I need to do my show did not. Now, I've always known that someday this would happen. With all the flights and the tight connections and the busy airports, it's just inevitable that someday a bag isn't going to make it through. There is a backup plan, but up until today, I've never had to use it. You know, I realized that, that a magic show doesn't actually take up that much space. It's, you're, you're filling the stage with people and ideas and you know, experiences. Um, but, but those are created with, with really modest items, you know, it's just stuff that you find in the uh, office supply section of a, you know, a store. Uh, this is the magic show. The goal now is to sort of put all this together um, so I can use it for the show tonight. It's not so much that I'm going to have to perform different illusions tonight as it is that I'm going to have to use different methods to create those illusions. When you're learning to be a magician, you discover that there's more than one way to accomplish any given illusion. And so the goal tonight is to perform a show that, that looks and more importantly feels the same as it would any other night. And I'm extremely pleased to introduce you today, Nate Sandiford, so let's give him a round of applause. This was, without question, the hardest show of the tour, but amazingly, it was also one of the best. There are some nights where, against all odds, everything just seems to go perfectly, and what could have been a disaster turned out to be a really great night. Coming up? You, listen, I'm not gonna do anything. I want you to hold all the cards. I want you to see this. I don't know exactly where you put it, but with that hand, look at this. Turn over the top card. 